A couple and their baby are lucky to be alive following an extraordinary crash at Northmead. The 32-year-old father lost control with his wife and their infant child in the car. It rolled over at high speed, then slid on its roof for another 20 metres. The family managed to free themselves and were taken to hospital for observation. Figures last week showed that nearly 100% of patients had their elective surgery within the recommended time frame. But that's a statistic. Doctors say it takes no account of what they call the wait for the waiting list because it can take months to be seen and even longer to be treated, which in one Sydney grandmother's case might mean blindness. Sarah Morgan has seen a lot of life through just one eye. I'm a grandmother 27 times and a great-grandmother 26 times. The 79-year-old used to be a forklift operator, even though she's been partially blind since she was 13. Over 60 years, one eye's done the job. But now her good eye, the right one, is cloudy due to suspected cataracts. Next March is the earliest availability for an initial consultation with a specialist at Westmead Hospital. The waiting list for surgery could be even longer. Probably will kick the bucket before they have time to do it. If I'm blind, I won't be able to do it. I'm even a little thing. Every day her eyesight deteriorates and four years to a 79-year-old person is like a lifetime. The Optometrist Association of Australia says some patients are waiting up to four years for cataract surgery from their initial assessment and the health minister says it's up to the specialist to decide how urgent a case is. I need cataract surgery. I've been waiting over two years. A choice. Sarah will have to wait too. There's a request to review any potential deterioration in that eye. But that review is almost a year away. Jessica Dietrich, 7 News. A man's been charged over the theft of bronze plaques ripped from the Kellyville War Memorial. The Army, Navy and Air Force emblems have now been returned to the RSL after police found them at a scrap metal business. One of the plaques was cut to pieces. I think he did.